we just wanted to uh, make something that felt very uh, natural and plausible uh, for, you know, for Max as a character. And so a number of years have passed. He's drinking a lot and he's spending a lot of time in bars. He's uh, abusing himself pretty bad. And so we had uh, a lot of fun sort of going inside his head and trying to make you feel like you were in there with him. This was a hell of a hangover. You know, if you think about the Max games, it's basically him narrating or, you know, recounting a lot of the events. In that way, it's basically him sort of looking back, and it's his perspective on how things uh, went down. And so if you look at it that way, the whole thing is you in Max's head. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was going to be. We added a few things to make it feel current. Uh, you know, there's a cover mechanic, and you can uh, pull the left trigger to, to come in and aim closer over his shoulder. Uh, another mechanic that we have is Last Man Standing. Um, which is basically, uh, you know, if Max takes a, a fatal blow from, a, from an enemy, kind of goes in, and you have any painkillers in your inventory, he kind of goes into this mode um, where if, if you can find uh, the, the, the person that shot you and, and uh, get your reticle on top of them and get a shot on them, you will, uh, you'll take them out and you'll get a little boost of, uh, of health back at the cost of one painkiller. Another addition that we've made is uh, to the shoot dodge, which is also sort of something that comes out of bullet time. You can shoot dodge in any direction and it looks really nice to sort of see him stop and cut and launch himself. It feels really nice, it feels really natural, and that's another area where we're blending uh, euphoria and, and animation uh, pose libraries to get it to look and feel very natural.